Brad Pitt upset after daughter Shiloh filed to drop Pitt from her last name. Amid the ugly divorce with Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt is reportedly upset and aware that his daughter Shiloh has filed to drop his last name on her 18th birthday. A source close to the actor while speaking to people said his removal from his daughter's life is just another indication that he has lost his children. The source said, and I quote, he's aware and upset that Shiloh dropped his last name. He's never felt more joy than when she was born. He always wanted a daughter, end quote. Just so you know, Brad Pitt was already in the process of legally adopting a daughter who had been a part of his life for months before he and his estranged partner, Angelina Jolie, had announced she was pregnant with Shiloh in January 2006. Angelina, Angelina Jolie had traveled to Ethiopia to adopt her first daughter, 19-year-old Zahara, in July 2005, and Brad Pitt had come with her on the trip. He was reported to be in the process of becoming Zahara's adopted father in December 2005, a month before he and Jolie announced her pregnancy. The source added, and I quote, the, rem the reminders that he's lost his children is of course not easy for Brad. He loves his children and misses them. It's very sad, end quote. According to the source, the distance between him and his six children, Maddox, Pax, Zahara, Shiloh, and twins, Knox and Vivian, pains him, but he still loves all of his kids tremendously. If Shiloh's request is granted, she will subsequently go simply by Shiloh Jolie rather than her original full name, Shiloh Jolie Pitt. If you would recall, we previously reported that Brad Pitt's youngest daughter, Vivian, who served as her mother, Angelina Jolie's assistant, when she produced the Broadway's musical adaptation of The Outsiders, had listed her name as Vivian Jolie in the playbill for the show. Zahara, on the other hand, previously introduced herself as Zahara Mali Jolie when she joined the Moo Pai chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority at Spelman College late last year while their oldest sons, Maddox and Pax, have reportedly not publicly used their father's name in years. <sighs> okay. Wow. <clears throat> when I saw this, mm -hmm. I felt... The first thing I felt, I said, oh, the power of a woman yeah. uh, in the life of the children. Of the children, yeah. Now, it's one thing to be, um, to suck when it comes to being a good father. Mm -hmm. And it's another thing to be a good father, but mm -hmm. not a good husband. Yeah. And I really do not like it when parents or women try to take off children in whatever way. Uh, Issues or them. issues yeah. they have with their husbands because yeah. there are people who are not good husbands mm -hmm. but they're good fathers mm -hmm. to their children. Mm -hmm. But I understand that most times so when women have problems with their husbands, mm. they try to uh, like manipulate uh, the situation and you know turn it against the uh, the man, father, the father, uh, yeah, the totally so that the paternal the, so, side, yeah, mm -hmm. so that the children would not even have you know anything to do, to do with, with the, the father, father, or they will see the father in a bad light. Mm -hmm. And I think I have always preached this that people should stop this. If you have a problem with your spouse, have a problem with your spouse, mm -hmm. but make the life of the children you have brought them into the world. They did not ask you to bring them and not be in agreement. And now that you have brought them to the world, you should help them to live well. And that is why you see people mm. co-parenting. They might not mm. be, uh, you know, in good terms, but mm. they always just have that ground of, okay, we'll visit the school together, uh, you know, we'll share custody, mm. or they'll come to me during the holidays, mm -hmm. they will stay with you when they're in school, and all of those. I think it is very, I don't know what the real situation might be with, uh, you know, Angelina Jolie, mm. but I think that let the father be the father. You might have a problem with your husband but I mean so, doing this I, I don't understand I have a question and the question is do you think that this problem is is not a reflection of whatever he has done wrong or whatever he did or do you think it's just the influence of the mother so I wouldn't that know that was it? why I said that if it is just that is being a good father but mm. because she has a problem with her yeah. ex or her estranged husband or yeah. however you want to put it then it would be so pathetic to mm. see that she has such an influence on the children and then they're dropping the name of their father well, usually when there are family feuds like this 
the bad side is always the father side. Why? Um, so that is what I'm saying. And kudos to women who have tried their best. You know, they know that the father is not so fantastic to them as a husband, but they have tried their best not to paint the the, the father as bad. Terrible, you know, as still include if, them. You know, they, so uh, they, they don't allow the children to say anything bad about, about their the father, father and all that. So mm. I think that we should just, you know, applaud uh, this, women who have done that. This is heartbreaking. And then there's one child who, like, has his name that they you gave get, to. Uh -huh, not adopted, it is, it is. and then you're going to drop the father's yeah, name. It it's just very pathetic. It but I don't know, maybe they now have other issues. Mm. You know, if they have other issues, then I'm out of it. But mm. if there are no other issues, I mean, uh, why, 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 why? All right, we'll go on this music break, and we will be back for the remainder of the entertainment. Stay here with us. The dream issue statement after being accused of rape and sexual battery. American singer-songwriter The Dream has been accused of sexual and physical assault in a new lawsuit filed by a woman named Chanaz Mango, a.k.a. Chani Monroe. In a lawsuit filed in California federal court, she accused the music producer of rape, sexual batter, and sex trafficking, painting a picture of a manipulative and abusive relationship that began under the pretext of advancing her music career. In a statement to the New York Times, the Dream denied the accusations, calling the claims untrue and defamatory. He said, these claims are untrue and defamatory. I oppose all forms of harassment and I've always tried to help people realize their career goals. As someone committed to making a positive impact on my fellow artists and the world at large, I'm deeply offended and saddened by these accusations. Monroe claims that she was introduced to the dream in 2014 when she was 23, working in the United States on an international visa from the Netherlands. And in 2015, he lured her with promises of stardom only to subject her to repeated sexual assault, physical abuse, and emotional manipulation. According to the lawsuit, he pressured are into unwanted sex, sometimes using threats and cohesion, including recording an intimate encounter and threatening to share the footage. Maru describes a pattern of control and abuse, including being locked in a dark room, being forced to have sex in public spaces, and enduring threats with a gun placed beside her during encounters. A lawsuit also accuses the dream of sex trafficking, a claim seen in other high-profile cases, including those against Sean Diddy Combs. This case highlights ongoing issues within music industry uh, where power dynamics can lead to exploitation and abuse. Monroe, represented by Douglas H. Wigder and Meredith A. Fightog, hopes that a story will help others and prevent future abuse. Monroe is, however, seeking uh, compensatory damages connected to lost income from her experiences, a monetary judgment for emotional distress, punitive and exemplary damages, and legal related fees um, i'm just sick and tired not of again this. um but at the end of the day i'm happy that all of this is coming out now whoever is guilty let them face the rules of yes, the law yes let them do the investigation um, and let yeah, them you know yeah. uh just and then this is also you know um encouragement to anybody that has gone through this, through kind this of to speak to speak up um you're going to be living in trauma for the rest of your life when you see the person who has you know molested you and giving you trauma out there enjoying his best life and you're there every other time relieving the memory um so this 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 is heartbreaking the fact that he took advantage of her um and she just she even came on a, on she she came from another country yes. into america and the many things that she's probably not even mentioning but the many things she had to endure you know just because she wanted to push a career, career to the next yeah, level. That's right. And these are the things that have happened numerously, mm. many times in the industry, over and over again. Like they said, this is is, is exploitation. And then 
power drunk celebrities yeah, who just yeah. take advantage. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, that's it. I mean, you said it. It's just very disheartening when you hear this. And people are still draining. Nobody learns from other people's experiences. Like, oh, uh, mm -hmm. people might get caught and all of this. And they feel like because they have the power right now. Mm -hmm. And in the long run, you might have even forgotten what you've done to people. But people would still remember all of those things. Yeah. And it still happens. It happens everywhere. Yeah. You think that because you have that power and you cannot just, okay, so if you can't help those people, just simply tell them that you can help. Mm -hmm. But in most cases, these people can help, but I just feel like, okay, so you know what? You know, I don't, I, I, I don't do anything for free. So can you, you, have can to you just only... imagine that? I mean, you did mention that it happens everywhere. So the question is, say for instance, in our climate, in, our, in Nigeria, right? Do you think that the rule of law can actually happen where someone takes a celebrity or someone of power to court and say, you know what, I, think so. I went through this I, I with think this so. Person. It might be hard, it might be long, but I, I think so. I think some people have achieved stuff before. In fact, I've seen somebody take, um, what's it called, a company. Uh, she worked at a company and she, took, she sued the company. Mm -hmm. So you know how everybody would say, oh, ah, how much mm. money do you have? Mm. But it, it, and it was in Nigeria and the person won. And she got the money? Yes. Amazing. So sometimes, yeah, but I think for you, pushing it, not, not pushing it at all, might just be that you just accepted it like that. Mm. So even at the end of the day, if it does not work, yeah, you so would have tried. That, that's the thing. In a, in a country, in a, in, a, in a place where rule, law works, and you know that, okay, if you go after this, you're going to get You're going the to result. get the results. People are encouraged to come out and do and, and uh, talk so, about it. So but here, we've seen a lot of times people pay their way through and just die out certain J. issues. Paul, so I understand what you're talking about, but I think that the problem again is that people just think that, you know, that thing, and they listen to other people would say, ah, leave it for God. God mm. will not come down from heaven to help you. Mm. I found out that most people don't even push these things. Mm. Try. You would have tried at the end of today. Mm -hmm. Kanye's attorney responds after ex-assistant sues him for sexual harassment. From one legal trouble to another, a legal representative for Yee, formerly known as Kanye West, has responded after his ex-assistant, Lauren Piscota, filed a lawsuit against him for sexual harassment. TMZ published an exclusive statement received from Yee's representative in the statement, the representative asserted that Piquilta's alleg allegations against Yi were baseless. Additionally, the, re the representative accused the woman of engaging in blackmail and extortion. Then they shared that Yi would be filing his own lawsuit against Piquilta. The statement reads, and I quote, in response to these baseless allegations, Yi will be filing a lawsuit against Ms. Piquilta, who actively pursued him sexually to cause employment and other material benefits then engaged in blackmail and extortion when her advances were rejected furthermore the rep accuses piscota of stealing Yi's phone the woman allegedly did so in an attempt to destroy evidence that would run counter to her narrative they also alleged that the woman was fired from her position for being unqualified and demanding large sums of money from the rapper. The counter accusations didn't end there as his rep also accuses the ex-assistant of sending him nude photos in an attempt to solicit sex. Ms. Piscota offered Yi sex on his birthday, to which he declined, sent Yi unsolicited nude images, sexual narratives, and was seen twerking in the office during business hours. Yi's legal rep told US Weekly in a separate statement, when Piscota was remanded for her alleged actions, the rep says she resorted to attempted extortion and blackmail. The woman allegedly demanded millions from Yi before ultimately filing her lawsuit. Just so you know, in the sexual harassment lawsuit, Lauren Piscota alleged she was hired by the rapper in 2021 while creating lucrative content on OnlyFans. In 2022, he allegedly confronted the woman about her account. According to Piscota, the rapper pressured her to be more godlike and delete her space on OnlyFans before allegedly agreeing to supplement her million dollar income.
Afterward, the woman alleged she began receiving vulgar sexual texts and videos from Yi. Some content showed footage of him having sex with a mother, she says. Furthermore, the woman alleged Yi would pleasure himself during phone calls. Despite the alleged experiences, Piscota eventually agreed to a, to a hefty $4 million promotion. Eventually, the woman was fired from her position in October 2022, according to US Weekly. Although she was promised a $3 million severance from Yi, she allegedly never received one. She is now suing the rapper for breaching their employment contract, creating a hostile work environment, wrongful termination, and sexual harassment. Okay, uh, so today is all about sexual <laughs> harassment, you know. Hmm, I'm tired. Uh, okay, so where do we start from? I do really understand that people too disturb these celebrities, women. So they want to get money, they want fame and all of that. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. throw themselves at them. At the so point. I'm not even surprised that, you know, somebody will send you um, risk messages <laughs> and all of those things, and new uh, videos and all of those, because I'm not sure that, that that one was not up to something, you know? Yeah. I, um, I am not sure from all of those things. That, <laughs> I mean, from uh, OnlyFans, yes, even from having, only and then you, and we all know that um, yeah, can be very uh, Christ-like. <laughs> <laughs> and say, you know what, preaching to her, delete yeah. your only account fans from this. Account. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he probably thought he could. He probably thought he could. He could change her, change or, something, or you know? do something positive for her. But yeah. I mean, if this is true, this is you know at the end of the day coming back to bite him. You get. You know, but I love the I love the judiciary system over there. I love I love the fact that if it's wrong, they will find out. <laughs> Investigations will be carried out, yeah. and she's in. She's going to be in for a major ride I'm of her life. I'm going to be pulling your heels. Yes, <laughs> because I mean. Right now, oh. I mean, she will be popular, but popular for what? she's going to People face there jail is no time. Bad publicity, but it's a lie. And I'm sure she doesn't have the money. All this money she's you calling, get. When they is bill her back, she doesn't have it. But it's okay. Okay, well, so <laughs> somebody that is very, very not in his mind is saying that <laughs> they know her, so they're going to go and be going to her OnlyFans page. And I'm sure. I'm sure face. OJ is already there. Wow, is that what you do, OJ? No, 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 no. <laughs> you are not contaminated in Jesus' name. Amen. And that is where we draw the curtains, not on the show, but on the entertainment news. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Social View. As So be prepared, because today you're going to have a good time as we'll be looking at some crazy moments from the really world. Really crazy, oh, you showed me one already. media. Are you ready? <laughs> Basting your seat belt. First up, please, I need wedding abbreviation for Dolapo and Bolaji 2024. Oh, yeah, I'm waiting. Okay, so me, I think that it should be D-O-B-O. -O. Now, you can interpret that to whatever thing you want to -O -O. interpret it to. So it's be like, oh, oh, don't let be co be co. Oh, be you. Oh, don't let be co be co. So, double 2024. <laughs> let me try. Let me try my own. I think my own should be dollar G, twenty twenty four, dollar G. So it's so too dollar much wake because up. Oh, it's too oh much. dollar G because you know we thought that we're just going to take just two from the dollar no. and dollar G two no, from no 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 I was letters. dollar G try another one let me okay see. all right give me another one <laughs> I know that these people they will have like loads of <laughs> D O B O O D L N O B C O B C O Okay, so let's check out the next one. Next one says, My dad spent the entire weekend trying to teach my sister how to drive. After countless near misses, he calmly says, So, have you considered public transport as a long-term option? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Have I didn't see future in her driving? So, I'm so sorry. <laughs> she didn't see but, driving. But I think so hard for some people like this. Like when they first start to drive, um, it can be very, yeah, yeah, I think it's automatic. For people like me who learned, oh, yeah, with manual, you would say, because that thing, Peko USF will break. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> that thing sometimes can be, 
I'm telling you, that thing can be very stressful. But, I mean... I don't know, but I think one of the most difficult jobs in this world is teaching a woman how to drive. Which one is teaching a woman? <laughs> Which one is gender-based again? <laughs> so, I don't like that thing about... I don't like it. I don't like it. And the reason I don't like it is because people have... You people, you have created that narrative that I see... <laughs> Men on the road who don't even know how to you drive. You don't have patience. And, 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 you see, don't we, have patience. I've seen a lot of men that I drive better than. I and know. they will now be saying that uh, women, they can be like this. That was that one soldier <laughs> was passing beside me one day. I was trying to turn somewhere, and then there was a bomb. So I was being careful for that bomb. He just passed and said, ah, now nah, woman. <laughs> I was like... Sure, check all there. Like, exactly, exactly. You people sure. don't have patience. Maybe no, you don't have patience. What sort of yes. nonsense is that? Maybe you want to say that now, woman. What sort of nonsense is that now, woman? Kilo Shelly, he was not driving with me. I saw the bomb. I was not going to, because I want to impress somebody. Mm. King Bogo Shock comes up. Let's check out the next one. <laughs> At your big age, will you still run when a dog chases you? Ah. This one does not know age. Oh. <laughs> you will jump like Patebu. You will jump that gate. Are you joking? You will jump. I fence. still remember. You know, so the thing is, you know that on a normal day, when you're not tense, nothing is chasing you. You look like you look at a wall, you feel like it's too high, you can't jump it. But I tell you, when you see like OJ's dog. OJ's dog is that does not have mercy. Is it taller than him? Hey, why did we have to go there? And I said that I won't throw, I said I won't throw that guy to deal alone. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I'm not going to show that guy today. OJ no supposed to get the door because the dog. No, 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 no. Don't out. do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Leave OJ today. Today is his uh, day of grace. It's his day of not, grace. You oh, didn't no. inform me earlier. I will not. You did. I will, I will not say anything about him. I will not troll him. Okay. I will not. Um, uh, his mom, Tolula Midi, came to meet me yesterday <laughs> on the show. Me, I was. I said, I will join you. I will roast you. And, so you go chop the mama and the pussy. I'm telling you, they can't look alike. See the person that know to roast. <laughs> they still last last, they still roast them. Oh my God, and I don't want to do it. They now look alike. They are fair in complexion and they are now big. <laughs> Both of them. They are very humble people. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I see it on the streets of Lagos. Ah, ah, timeless peace. Look at the guy now. Do you know how much that piece is worth? <laughs> no, no, no. Don't insult. Don't insult. I won't take this on the guy's behalf. After all, it is a timeless piece. Exactly. <laughs> timeless piece. All right, so let's check out the last one for today. Some ladies will stop at the middle of hot romance just to ask, do you truly love me? How can a man hate you at that time? Okay, so the moral of this is that stop asking Stupid questions during those times because that time is not they are not using their brain. Okay. Even my gender self, they are not serious. Because why you know just feel toxic? Wait, wait, let's finish. You can't they promise all the promise. Don't worry, I will give you this, I will give you that. So now so now they do. Why would not they ask those kind of questions at that time? And some people say that if you pray during that time, that God will answer. Okay, and that's all for we married have. people, no, <laughs> not for fornicators all 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 your and adulterers. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we have from the world of social media today. <laughs> On social media, we'll be back shortly. Welcome back to the show, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The magic of music is that yeah. it is universal. And as Nigerians, we love music so much that a lot of the times we get lost on the catchy beats and don't bother about the lyrics. There was a time when French speaking songs were a thing in Nigeria. Most of the songs made us lose our home training on the dance floor. Also, but looking back now, it makes us wonder what it is this artist were actually saying. Let's get nostalgic as we take a look at songs from French-speaking Africa countries that rocked Nigeria back then. This is the Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch me. First up, Ramatulaye with Alaji. This Ivorian artist gave us one of the best bangers back then. This is one song that DJs could play more than enough times before the end of any party, and people won't be tired of dancing to. El Alaji 
really took over the country like wildfire. Hey, allergy, allergy, allergy. Alaji, Alaji, taking us to the next one, then Oliver, baby girl. All right, it just wouldn't be a complete classic without this particular one. This song basically tells a loving father's wishes for his daughter on the wedding day. And is a, this evergreen song was played at almost every wedding party. It was sung in French, English, Yoruba, and Bon, Bene language. This tune shows deep and great intent for tradition love and it takes over the wedding reception and gets everyone emotional honestly it was beautiful to listen to beautiful song right there my mom played this song more than how many times my father loves this song so oh. much. <laughs> all right moving up on the list we have awilo lokomba with coupe bibamba Awilo Lokumba was so popular in Nigeria despite not singing in any of the country's languages. Most of us don't know what he was saying, but we so much love it. We went ahead to form ours, or should we call it a cover? I buy kuli kuli, then no give me change you. Kuli kuli la ta ta, eh. We sang our rubbish with so much pride then, and the dance was not here. Let's check it out. <laughs> Nothing can touch this waist. <laughs> okay, oh, let's just move on already. <laughs> let's talk about Magic System. That is Wanna Go. To say the song Rocks Nigeria is an understatement. Once you hear the beat, everyone is sure to break into their best Makosa dance moves. Most boys selling disc on the road play it every time. And trust my fellow Nigerian children, they are there dancing and some adults shaking their body while on the move. Because this song right here was just irresistible. Nigerian gospel musician Tokwe Alabi even sampled the song as she took us away from the world back to church. Only part I saw you in that video. Moving to number five is a party out here. We're talking about extra musical with a tap major. Extra Musical is a group of Congolese musicians and they released Eta Major in 1999. The song quickly became popular and believe me, this song always causes commotion on the dance floor. It was show and anthem back then. And as usual, we do not care about the lyrics. All we know is that the song is danceable. Before we check it out, ladies and gentlemen, this is the part that we've come to the end of the show. And uh, we hate to say goodbye, but we'll see you again tomorrow. I've been Jay Paul, Mr. Flames, hanging out with the beautiful, collectible, the queen, honey, shmoney, and we'll see you tomorrow. And let's check out Etta Mijo. Oh, yeah.